Sometimes I think I might make slight mistakes because I might not have the same feelings or experience as a married woman. But in my mind, I see my mother and I try to treat these children exactly the same way she would have. This is a big challenge and a wonderful experience. I hope to get married someday and I will take all this wonderful experience with me. I have learnt a lot here, how to handle children, how to manage time, how to follow the rules of a home and yet make these children feel happy. In all, this has been a good challenge and an experience. The education standard of the care mothers also is now much better and also many of them uh, now they, they know other, uh, they have other uh, like needlework, dressmaking and uh, other talents which they, we, we encourage them to give to the children. So batik and uh, that type, so we have opened little classes and uh, and in fact we have even opened, just opened a shop where we hope that the children will be able to produce things, sell them to visitors and uh, uh, they will also be uh, encouraged in it by, they can earn something of their own through their own efforts. So to teach them the value of money, to teach them the use of money, Actually, we have not had the experience of anyone leaving us yet. Children were very small when they took when they took them in. The eldest was about uh, nine, the nine. nine. So actually, they had to leave only at the age of sixteen or more. But we have been quite aware of this fact question that you raise, that we had to provide training for them in other fields so that they can lead useful lives after they leave this place. So we have identified certain areas, for example, carpentry, masonry, motor mechanism, building, whole lot of uh, beauty care, for beauty care, tailoring, whole lot of items which will prove very useful and which they can do as an occupation once they leave. These children have many latent talents. The Somavati home has recognized this and has introduced the teaching of many vocational and aesthetic subjects to its children. My one aim is to enhance their potential so that they will in future become good and useful citizens. With this in mind, I do my best to train them in carpentry. This institution supplies me with the necessary finances and equipment that I need. We must pave the way for their latent talents to blossom and bear fruit and not let them fade away. The service that this institution provides for its children is indeed praiseworthy. Every month, uh, some of 250 rupees is put into an, uh, the account of each child, and uh, then at the time they leave, they will have a certain sum of money. And of course, if they are setting up something of their own or something to start off it, we will certainly be helping them financially also to stand up and face life by themselves. Our aim is that every child. By, by the time they are 18, will be equipped to, uh, to a vocation where they can earn to live a comfortable life.
brothers and sisters from the same family amongst his children here and they live in the same house. Now even though they may not all be siblings from the same family, here in the safe and happy environment at the Somavati House of Hope, they all live together as one happy family. We take in children to the home with the approval of the Department of Child Probation. They have three categories of children, orphans, semi-orphans or abandoned. We provide everything necessary to ensure these children's physical well-being, health care, education and mental development are met with. Uh, our medical center service uh, not only for orphanage children but also for the villagers. Uh, we have uh, up to a certain standard facilities, for example, uh, laboratory facilities, ECG machines, and uh, some mini operative facilities we have. Uh, so, villagers are uh, getting uh, the benefit uh, because they don't have this much of facilities uh, nearby hospital. So it is very useful not only for the orphanage children but also for the villagers, this medical center. Uh, we are giving uh, this medical service uh, free of charge totally. Every one of these children have a special need due to their previous experiences and circumstances and those who are responsible for them are aware of that. They are cognizant of the mental stress that these children have undergone and they offer counseling here so that these children may overcome their fears and their issues. Dakunu Palate Lamanivas Gattahama, the Raja Lamanivas Hatrat Ekamatis Satra. There are four government homes and 34 homes in total. There are about 1,500 children in these homes. These homes cover Gaul, Mathara, and the Hambantara districts. Many of these children in these homes are from broken homes without parents or these parents have gone abroad or have left the family. The children who are in these homes have severe emotional stress and many problems. A lot of them are broken emotionally. Our aim is to make these broken children whole again and make them productive citizens of Sri Lanka. When we look at the southern province, Somavati home is one of the best homes in the region. I say this not because I work here, but because of the facilities offered to the children. It's a great environment. I see that the love that is needed for a child to rebuild is given here. Things are done in a very systematic manner, so the children have an excellent chance to become whole again. I honestly admire the work done by the care mothers. In a normal household, we raise two or three children. Here, a care mother has to raise eight children with various personality traits. This is a very challenging job. Not only do the care mothers, but the rest of the officers and employees of the home have a very challenging and responsible job to do. They have to handle the question put forth by the court and the child probation department as well as a host of other agencies and find a way to give the best care to these children. I see that the government homes run by the child probation department don't always have food for the children or have enough clothes and they don't have proper beds or nets. But the children at the Somavati home have a very good system where the children are cared for. For lunch, every student gets a proper, healthy and nutritious meal. For breakfast and dinner, the children are able to eat whatever they want in their own homes. This is a very good environment for the children. The question is if the children are taking advantage of the situation to better themselves. It is a challenge to encourage them to become productive citizens. 
Our goal is that all the children of the Somavati home will be able to reach the highest levels of society and become great successors.